Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to work on a single arm near side shield cast with a mace. The Mace 360 is one of your most fundamental actions that you can possibly learn or practice athletically. It is the movement that separates us from absolutely everything else on the planet. Let's review the basic version first, then go to the single arm version, then we're gonna to go to the near side version. Three exercises in a row to get to the final idea. Intro, top hand, 90 degrees, upper arm vertical, bottom hand supports underneath. That is the support hand, it does not matter. The top hand is what matters because when we go to single arm, that's the most important part. Put the mace on the side of the head that it's being held on. Right hand, right side of the head, bottom hand comes underneath. The most basic coaching cue is top hand past opposite ear. Top hand past opposite ear and come back to our order position. The catch is the important part. If your elbow is sticking out, it becomes very, very hard to hold immediately and you will not be able to go up and wait. Top hand, past opposite ear. <sighs> Inhale at the back, exhale on the catch. <sighs> Inhale at the back, exhale at the catch. <sighs> if I were to change hands, I would go left hand, left side of my head, left elbow on left hip, bottom hand supports. Top hand goes past opposite ear. No matter which hand I am in, the cue stays the same. Top hand past opposite ear. The movement is done when my elbow touches my hip. To go to single hand, we do our two-handed version, then we start peeling fingers off of our support hand until we get to just having your fingers touching the mace. If your elbow is not in the right spot, the catch becomes very hard very quickly. Put your elbow in the correct spot. Top hand goes past opposite ear. The same cue, the same end point, less support. When we turn this into a near side shield cast, we are no longer gonna go top hand past opposite ear, we are gonna go top hand past the same side ear. Let's walk our way through it with no mace first. Starting, elbow to hip, open your shoulder to the side, pass behind the head, same side of the head, pull over, pass the same side of the head, come to order position, externally rotate all the way out. Same side head, catch, externally rotate, same side head, catch, externally rotate. Starting from our order position, elbow on hip, externally rotate, stop, elbow on hip, it's the exact same point, externally rotate. Over time, this front piece is gonna start looking like a half circle on its own. This same side of the head version requires more overall shoulder stability. You probably shouldn't do it until you have done the normal shield cast top hand opposite ear with at least three weights for three full progressions. That will make sure your shoulder is overly strong so that when you are learning this more complex movement for the catch in the external rotation, you have an abundance of strength and coordination already developed for the movement pattern. This type of training stacks up pretty well with something like volume cycles, where you keep the complexity and the weight the same, and you add sets each time. That allows you to get a little bit more experience each day. The experience is what allows you to end up in the correct position and not rip your shoulder out of the socket. So for the most part, this exercise should be retrained the same way you trained two-handed 360 and single-hand 360, and now same side 360. It should be a bunch of cycles in a row, and it should take you several months to acquire the skill safely and effectively.